It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Panthers and the Silver and Black. Next on Madden NFL 25. Now from the home of the Raiders since 2020. We're inside the spectacular Allegiant Stadium here in Las Vegas. So good to have you with us, Mike Tirico and Greg Olson here in the booth. Partner, these are a couple of teams that struggled a year ago, finished out of the playoffs. They were under 500, but that's what you love about the NFL. A new season brings renewed optimism. Absolutely, and really, Mike, a lot of new faces at critical places. I mean, there is a lot of new pieces to the puzzle here, both coaching staff and the roster of players. They believe last year is over. They do not think there is any correlation between the squad they're planning to put on the field today and that one that we saw really go through some growing pains and struggles just a year ago. The kicker, Daniel Carlson, has this one teed up. And off we go from Bates. Raheem Blackshear on the return. He'll be brought down right around the 25 yard line. The Panthers now ready to get to work on offense for the first time. They are led out by the veteran, the one they call the Red Rifle, dating back to his old days at TCU. It's Andy Dalton. The man known around the league as the Red Rifle, and what an NFL career he's had up until this point, Mike. I mean, think back. At one point, he's the Pro Bowl quarterback routinely leading his team to the playoffs. Now, he's the experienced backup. He's bringing a lot of veteran presence to every locker room he finds himself. And one thing's for certain, when he gets a shot to play in the game, you could certainly do a lot worse than having him in your starting line. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Second down and three. Now the first carry for Chuba Hubbard. And he'll push his way ahead for a gain of two. Trayvon Merrick up to make the tackle. Trying to avoid the early three and out. They face third and a yard. going to be brought down behind the line. This defense fired up to start the game. It'll bring up fourth down. Well, this seems pretty straightforward. Third and one, just dial up a run play and run straight downhill, but this defense had other plans. They were ready and expecting that run, and they're going to take the ball carrier down for a loss. On fourth down, the longtime special teams ace, Johnny Hecker on to punt. A fair catch called, and he's going to take it. Out beyond the 25-yard line. The Raiders offense set to take over for the first time. They'll be let out by their quarterback, drafted back in 2019 out of Washington State. It's Gardner Minshew. I don't know about you, Mike, but my biggest takeaway from our meeting with him was just how important it is that they get off to a fast start. He made it very clear. They wanted to put their opponent on their heels right from the jump. So I think early in this game, they're going to come out swinging right from their opening whistle. They'll put one of the tight ends in motion. On the ground, here's Zamir White. He'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. He'll try again here, second and ten. They'll go again with White. And this will be a short pickup to about the 30. The tackle there by Shy Tuttle. They need eight as they come up for third down. Defenders to jump. Okay. 
So now, after the penalty, a much more manageable third and three. Here's a give up the middle with White. And he's going to have the Raiders first down. They have it by plenty. It was third and two. They picked up eight. On first down, right back to White. And he'll manage to get this ahead for a pickup of five. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. The shotgun, a throw from Inshu. Toward the sideline, take it in high. First down, Vegas. And it doesn't really matter who you put on him, Mike. When you want to play one-on-one -on -one man coverage against a receiver like this, there's not a whole lot else you can do. It's hard to put help over the top because the ball's being thrown out by the sidelines. I like playing in and out. I like playing zone. Somebody underneath, somebody over the top. Share the responsibility. But that's not what they're doing. That's straight man coverage. Quarterback sees the matchup. There's no question where the ball is going to go. Look him up on a second down and eight. On play action, here's Minshew. They go sideline and he stays in bounds. Got the feet down in time. It's a first down. A first down there. Gain of 14 yards. This is why the timing of these routes is so critical. If that ball is thrown a little bit later, he's unable to keep his feet in bounds, but instead the quarterback is on time and accurate, and the receiver does a nice job not only securing the catch, but ensuring that both feet remain in bounds. Off the play fake, it's been shoot. First down. The best quarterbacks, Mike, they have a clock in their head. They understand exactly how much time do they have before they start stressing the protection. He realized pretty quickly here it was time to go, tuck the ball, become a runner, and he's able to pick up a big game. Off the bootleg, it's Minshew. He'll find his running back, White, and he's brought down after a game of six on first down. All right, so there's really three areas that a modern NFL running back has to excel. Number one, the traditional handoffs. Yes, you have to operate out of the backfield like a traditional running back. Number two, you have to be excellent and reliable in pass protection. And maybe bigger than all of them, you have to be at least serviceable out of the backfield in the passing. And he'll be near the first down marker. Let's call it a gain of three, but a short yardage situation coming up on third down. to settle for a field goal but in this case give them a lot of credit they put a great drive together but they're able to capitalize and finish it off with six
7-0 is our score as this kick is sent into the air. This taken in at the 8-yard line. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Panthers offense going to take over now for the second time. They were forced to punt the first time through. It led to a touchdown, so down 7-0 as they get the ball back for first and 10. A first set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. They send a receiver in motion left. Dalton. To the left side, into the hands of McGett. Second down and eight. Tremble comes in motion. Dalton to throw. There's the right side. The pass intended for Xavier Leggett. And third down coming up. There's a fine line between trusting your arm and having a little bit too much faith in your arm, right? I think this is one of those situations here, Mike, where there was nowhere to go with the ball. He tries to fit that one in there anyway, and he's lucky that it just falls incomplete. And they will continue to go backwards. He's taken down for a second. The best thing they did here, Mike, is keep their rush lane integrity. What that means is you have to rush the quarterback as a unit. Keep him in the pocket. Keep him on that X. And when you do, man, he becomes a sitting duck for this pass rush. second time in this opening quarter. This kick hangs up, and the fair catch will be taken beyond the 35-yard line. The Raiders' offense ready for their second possession. They lead 7-0 thanks to the touchdown on the opening drive, so try to double up here as they begin this drive first and 10. is Minshew. That's caught. It's the tight end, Brock Bowers. And he's going to be running out of bounds, but not until he gets down to the 40-yard line. Terrific start to this drive. Gain of 23 and a first down. We see the rookie tight end, Brock Bowers, pick up the first down. Mike, of all the tight ends that I've watched in college over the last, call it, 10 years or so, I'm not sure if I've seen a more dynamic, ready-for-the-NFL tight end than Brock Bowers. I mean, two-time Matthew Award winner, 700-plus yards each of the last three seasons. He can get downfield. He can make tough catches. He can run with the ball after the catch. I mean, there's not a lot this guy can't do, and I think he's got a shot to be that next big-time, young, breakout rookie tight end. So, a lot of options on the table now. It's first and five. In motion is Myers. On the handoff, it's Madison. Can he get away? No! He's taken down behind the line. Good job by the defense with a negative play. Now, following the run, one of the offensive linemen leading the way is a bit shaken up. As the athletic training staff looks at him, We'll step away for a moment. Here's second and six. Working out of the gun, it's Minshew. And he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. That's going to go down as a sack and a loss of a couple. They teach these defensive ends to rush to the X. 
The X is the spot where the quarterback stops his drop, and you can see when he hit that back foot, he had nowhere to go, and he's able to bring him down for a big sack. To the air on third down, it's Vinci. That's into the hands of Tucker. He's got it. They get 16 on that connection. Good for a Raider first down. This pass defense, it, it just has to be better than this, Mike. They have to do a better job accounting for everybody in their coverages. Seems like they got a little lazy. They got locked in on maybe one or two of the offensive targets. They have to play their defense exactly according to the plan. Because if not, this quarterback has enough weapons. He can spread the ball out and find the open space. Four forward, only to about the 18. They're going to go play action now with Minshew. And the Raiders are going to be set up with a first and goal. And a pass play that moves them down to the one. They've done a nice job spreading the ball around. Make the defense have to account for as many different weapons as possible here early. And think back to our conversation with this coaching staff, Mike. They identified this guy as someone they needed to get involved early and often. So that might be his first target. And I don't think it's going to be his... Give him a second touchdown on this one. What an opening quarter, Greg. Two rushing touchdowns in the first. Well, Mike, we kind of had a feeling this might be the case. They told us all week how important it was to get this guy involved early and often. And boy, have they ever. He has made his presence felt here early in this one. Carlson now for the extra point. He's got it. And the Raiders move out on top, 14 to nothing. Carlson now. He'll kick this one off following the touchdown on the other end. On the return, here comes Blackshear. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. Here's the Carolina offense now as they head out to take over for their next possession. They trail by two touchdowns, so the time is now. Gotta get that rally going. It starts with first and ten. Here's Dalton. Completion will get a stoppage here for an injured player. The training staff going to look and will step out for a moment. They'll come up first and ten at the 40.
They'll motion over Thielen. To throw is Dalton. He's got a man. It's the former Steeler, Deontay Johnson. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. They come to the line now on second and two. They'll motion over field. Here's Dalton. On the right side, corralled by Fuel. Down to the 10. And he will score. Adam Thielen. Touchdown, Panthers. On now, Eddie Pinheiro for the extra point. He's got it. And the Panthers are on the board. It's now 14-7. to seven. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away this one taken at the seven a good return as he takes it across the 30 they'll come up here first and ten Drive begins with a run by White. And he's taken down on what should be the final play of this first quarter. One quarter in the books. 14-7 is our score. And we're back in Vegas after this. Here's a second and nine. From the gun, here's Minshew. Taking off, and he's able to gain yardage out of this one before he slides. And five. He'll try and throw with Minshew. He connects with the open man. That's Myers. That's his first reception of the ballgame, and it really comes at a good time as they get the conversion on third down. So far here early, Mike, the key for this offense has been their ability to maintain possession by converting on these third downs. It's going to be a big storyline the rest of the way. This defense has to find a way. When they force third down, they got to get off the field. They run with White. Open space to the 35. And they'll finally run him down, but not before he takes it inside the 15. Well, that's a heck of a one-two punch right there, and that's something that every offense stresses. The ability to be equally effective run and pass on any given snap. They follow up the successful pass play with a big explosive run. Another run here with White. And this time they are ready for him. He'll be thrown for a loss. No big game at carry. It's second down.
second down, a run with White. And some good blocking, springing a gain of nine as we get to third down. From the gun, here's Minshew. That is caught in the middle of the end zone. Brock Bowers. Touchdown, Las Vegas. The tight end using the middle of the field. I got a tight end next to me who's caught 60 NFL touchdowns. Knows how to operate down in those spaces. And that was my favorite place to operate, Mike. I always had this rule. The closer you got to the middle of the field, the worse they got at defending the pass. So that's where I wanted to work, and that's where this guy was working and leads himself to a touchdown. Now Carlson to add the extra point. He gets it to go, and the Raiders will take a 21-7 lead. Carlson now. He'll kick this one off following the touchdown on the other end. Very good kickoff. Returnable from the four. And he is stopped at 25. The drive will begin there. The Panthers offense and veteran wideout Adam Thielen set to take over once more. They'll do so with first and ten. Here's a second and three fourth time. Tremble comes in motion. To throw is Dalton. Short one there, caught by Tremble. And they'll hold him to a gain of just a couple and sets up third down. as they convert. Here's Dalton. That's taken in right side by Leggett. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass. Get past the first down marker, be friendly to the quarterback, and then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. It's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. Three downfield, it's Thielen. And they're going to be set up in the red zone. They've got it inside the 15. And this offense is now really on the move, Mike, and it's the passing game that's leading the way. 
They've been able to march their way downfield thanks to this aerial attack. So don't expect them to go to the ground game anytime soon. If I'm this play caller, I'm continuing to lead on this, not only in this drive, but probably for the rest of this game. Here's Hubbard. Looking to move away from the tackler as he winds up gaining seven yards. Nice run there. Here's second and three to go. They'll go again with Hubbard. He's going to lose yardage here, taken down back at the eight yard line. Here's a third down and four. Now Dalton. And that's going to line up. Uncatchable out of the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. That's what he'd love to have back. An opportunity to score six was right there for the taking. Just wasn't quite meant to be. Here's Eddie Pinheiro now, as the Panthers will try the field goal. This, about as short as you can get. Pinheiro's kick is good. And the Panthers cut the deficit a bit. The new score is now 21 to 10. Teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. Here comes Amir Abdullah on the return. A very good field position to start and the return is past the 40. The Raiders offense and their running back Amir White heading onto the field. They built a nice lead for themselves here. They'll try to add to that beginning with first down. That's caught left side by Bowers. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. Here's second and two. Play action now with Minshew. No one open. He'll drop it to his running back. I wouldn't be surprised if some point here in the future, Mike, this quarterback drops back and looks like the same old hitch route underneath we've seen a few times, and they give a pump fake and go. You can lull a defense to sleep with a lot of these underneath quick game passes, and once you do, you can try to go for the big one. That'll be taken in. It's Alexander Madison. He's going to be taken down at about the 30. The best quarterbacks, Mike, they don't necessarily even have to see the running back in the check down. They can just feel him. It allows them to keep their eyes downfield, allow their tight ends and wide receivers to continue to work open. In this case, nice job by the quarterback getting that ball in his hands and letting him do the rest after the catch. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and 10. In motion is Myers. To throw once more. Here's Minshew. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball is arriving. And it'll be second down. He's usually such a reliable target in the passing game. Like, we just don't see him struggle to come down with catches like that. 
all too often. And when you're one of the go-to guys on your team, I know the hit's coming, but guess what? It feels a lot better after you take that hit after a catch than it does after a drop. And that'll go for a gain of seven, and it's going to set up third down. This is one of those throws where I don't think the risk is worth the reward. If you're going to throw the ball into tight coverage and take a chance, it better lead to a big gain, and in this case, a pretty modest pickup, considering that was a risky throw. He'll try and throw with Minshew. receiver but Mike the part that people don't give enough credit to in order to get a downfield shot you have to have time and what a great job by the offensive line allowing the quarterback to be comfortable enough in the pocket let those deeper routes develop be on time and accurate with the ball and that's why this play is going to be a highlight all week let's give the big guys up front some credit Here's Carlson now. He'll kick this one off following the touchdown on the other end. A return now from the four. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. The Panthers' offense getting things in order as they trot out for this next possession. They'll try to get this a bit more respectable before the break. It has not been their have to this point. Let's see what they do on this drive. First down now. Get this drive started. On the ground, it's Hubbard. And a good run there. Going to get him five yards. Turn to Las Vegas after this. They'll come up here on second down and five. Now Dalton. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. For the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. He's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, Hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. On third down, they'll set up to throw. That one into the hands of Thielen. He's got it. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. And that's an important conversion, not only because it keeps their offense on the field, and now they can go down and see if they can steal some late points, but either way, worst-case scenario, Mike, if you're the offense here, you want to possess the ball going into halftime. Don't give your opponent a chance to go down and score on you. So, big pick up there. Now we'll see if they can turn it into some points. 13, pretty lucky here. Back-to-back -back gains of 13. And another first down. And now you can see they're really getting in rhythm in this two-minute drive. Now, after that last completion, Mike, they cross midfield. Now the mindset goes to, all right, we got to come away with some points. They've got a quarterback who's in complete control, and they got to see if they can finish this thing off. And they'll move this ball way down into the red zone, inside the 20-yard line. That last completion is going to go a long way towards at least finishing this two-minute drive, Mike, with some points. You're already in field goal range, so now the idea is continue to work the clock down, take a couple shots at the end zone. You want to get points, ideally a touchdown, but either way, you have the ball last before the end of the second quarter. They dump this down to Hubbard. And he's 
Brought down after a gain of six on first down. They'll come up now for second down and four. Throwing Dalton. Over the sideline. Fielding there to pull it in. There's this misconception out there, Mike, that in the NFL you have to run the same amount of run plays as you do pass plays. Everyone talks about being balanced. But as you're seeing in this drive, you can fall on one side of that coin a little bit more as long as you're able to remain effective and efficient. So far, their passing game has dominated here early, and that last pickup leads to a first down. And this is too far over the end line. It's incomplete. They went for it all on that one and just a little bit off. Ball winds up hitting the ground. They've got to move forward. The opportunities are out there. Better execution, better location, and they got some big plays in their future. They'll motion over and field. Now Dalton. That one is caught in the back of the end zone. Deontay Johnson. Touchdown, Carolina. Well, that is a step in the right direction, finding the end zone. I don't know, Greg. Could this be building some momentum for these guys, and that's important before halftime? Absolutely, and I think the biggest thing this coach is trying to get across right now on the sideline, Mike, is let's just cut into this lead and let's make it a one-score game at half. So they still got some work to do, but if they can go into halftime, regroup, catch their breath, just keep it close, give yourself a fighting chance here out of the break. Extra point by Pinheiro is good. Panthers are able to cut the deficit. It's now time on the clock to put together a drive here at the end of the first half and the kickoff's coming their way Abdullah now to return and he'll be brought down just beyond the 25 yard line the Raiders offense going to get it one last time here late in the opening half they'll see if they can put something together here beginning with first and ten From the gun, here's Minshew. A whole lot of chances on that one. It was bouncing around, but it falls incomplete. Really nice job there by the defense defending the middle of the field. That is the most valuable real estate on the field. They know every single offense is trying to attack the defense between the hashes. So give credit. They took away all the throwing lanes, and that ball falls incomplete. Of 11 yards on that one. Good for a Raider first down. Outbreaking routes, Mike, especially outside of the numbers. Everything is about the timing. If you're late with the throw, you're going to be watching that defensive back take that thing the other way for six. He's going to look deep for Adams. defense still arguing about that pass interference call but their focus needs to be a stop they face first and goal Minshew going to look to throw he pulls it in around the side
Now Carlson to add the extra point. He's got it. And the Raiders add on one more as they extend their second quarter lead. The clock showing five seconds remaining in this half as the kick's away. Here comes the return from a yard or two deep. Good job in coverage. They're going to get him down short of the 20-yard line. The break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. And they'll elect not to run another play. Instead, just take a knee and take this on into the locker room. So we reach halftime here in Vegas. And the Raiders are in the lead. As we send you to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with EA Sports. Halftime report. It's all yours, Coach. Okay, Mike. Thank you. More from you and Greg in a moment, but for now, welcome one and all to our EA Sports Halftime Report. The Raiders got a strong first half performance out of their quarterback, Gardner Minshew. He was sliced and diced in this defense and wound up with three touchdown passes in the first half. Coach, thank you. Not a rest at the break for the defensive coordinators trying to figure out how to stop these offenses as we get ready for the second half. Very one-sided first half of action. Will we get a turnaround? Let's find out. The third quarter is underway. And he's down at the 23, and that's where the offense will take over. The Raiders offense and Gardner Minshew is going to take over once again. And we show you some of the highlights, and there have been plenty to choose from. Three touchdown passes and some other big-time throws as well. Certainly dialed in and on top of his game right throughout this one. Operating from their own 23, they'll begin first and 10. They'll start this on the ground, and here's White. And they'll bring him down, but not until he gets to the 38-yard line. Have to imagine at some point here, Mike, the defensive coordinator looks to change things up. This running back has had his way with them all day long. Get a few more guys in the box, but then you know what that does. It opens you up down the field to that passing game. Fan in motion here is Tucker. On first down, here's Minshew. Looking middle there, but it's incomplete. I'm not sure if it's this big lead or if it's just this second-half pressure getting to him, but that's just a careless throw by the quarterback. And don't let this lead fool you. Throws like that can change this game in an instant. And this defense knows they gave him one, and they let him off the hook. He'll run over center with White. He'll push forward for about a yard. The tackle there by Shai Tuttle. Third and nine. They put Adams in motion. To the air on third down, it's Minshew. Taking a shot downfield for Adams. That is incomplete. Well read that time defensively, making it difficult downfield. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. So you have to imagine this offense goes in at halftime. They're feeling pretty good about the position they are, especially knowing they possess the ball coming out for the second half. 
You want to put together a great drive and add to the lead. No time to be conservative. No time to just sit on this ball and punt. You want to keep the pressure on the defense and score every time you get it. The Panthers' offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And he has been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been picked apart. That is borne out in those impressive numbers. He has been terrific all game long. Set to go now on first and ten. They'll motion over Thielen. Throwing Dalton. Back into the hands of Hubbard. They'll come up here on second down and five. To throw is Dalton. For the middle, that's caught by Moore. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. I think they're going to have to be more creative here on the back end with the types of coverages they show this quarterback. When you just show pre-snap, it is straight man coverage, and then you stay in it once the ball is snapped. It just makes it so easy on these quarterbacks, Mike, to just find the matchup that they like. Oh, after the catch, he's hit, and the ball is out. team's offense and their running back set to go once more and as we look at the highlights you see it's been tough to stop him here today a couple of touchdowns in this ball game he has without a doubt been the driving force in this offense so far And remember now, all turnovers must be reviewed by replay. So this one is going to need a little closer look. At issue was the knee or any other body part except the hand down before the ball comes loose. And are the visuals convincing enough to overturn the call on the field? Tremble comes in motion. Throwing Dalton. That one complete to Johnson. And he'll be marked down at the 45 yard line. Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of. They got a long way to go to get back into this game, but so far off to a good start. Right back to Johnson. He's got it again. And they'll take this down inside the 35. These hitch routes, they're usually just designed to pick up a few safe yards. An easy completion, get some rhythm for your quarterback. However, this time, he's able to make a little magic happen after the catch and turn it into something much bigger than even they were probably anticipating. Now the first carry for Miles Sanders. Nice job finding the seam. Gain of about nine. Just a yard short of that first down. Second and a yard. Here's Dalton. And that ball in and out of his hands. It is incomplete. 
might tell you after the game he should have come up with that one. He doesn't, and now third down comes up. You see this offense just continue to search for a spark. It's just this entire game, their execution's just been a little bit off, and now here in the second half, they find themselves down by multiple scores. They're going to have to connect on one or two of these big plays if they want to find themselves back in this one. That is gone. He finds his big target for good. That is a gain of 15, and now it's first and goal. I love the way the ball's been moving around to different guys this drive, Mike. I mean, it really keeps the defense guessing and off balance. And now this defense is going to have to figure out how to keep this offense out of the end zone because it's first and goal. Well, a chance to get right back in it here. First down and goal. They'll run with Hubbard. That's a nice pickup, bringing it down to the three. Second and goal. Dalton. That is caught. These are the worst. I, I had a couple years, Michael. I swear, I got tackled inside the one yard line ten times, and then you look back and you're like, man, how many touchdowns did I leave on the board because I couldn't get one more yard? Now, for him individually, not ideal, but right now they're on the doorstep of the end zone, and they got to find a way to put that ball across the board. They try to run with Hubbard. And he will dive into the end zone. Cuba Hubbard. Touchdown, Carolina. So on third and goal, they run it in. Sometimes, Greg, that's four down territory. They didn't need to do it on fourth down. Taking care of it on the third down for the touchdown. Yeah, and when you find yourself down here this close, Mike, you have to finish these drives off. I'm with you. I think he was going to give his back two shots there to punch it in, but he only needed one. Now, Pinera to add on the extra point. He knocks it through. Panthers are able to cut into the deficit. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away Abdullah now to return the work his way across the 25 yard line the home team's offense and their running back getting ready to go back to work and as you take a look at the numbers you have to imagine he was the top of the conversation in that locker room at halftime they gotta find a way to slow him down nothing they've done has worked so far Set to go now on first and ten. They'll start this on the ground. And here's Wright. And they bring him down to the nine until he gets the 45-yard line. And with that run, this back is closing in on almost 100 yards for the game today, Mike. He's had a lot of those good chunk plays. This defense has not had a great answer for him so far. The give to White. And a nice run. Get him about nine. It'll bring up second down. Now, whistles here. Looks like one of the defenders got a head start.
man in motion here is Tucker. On first and ten, it's Minshew. This throw right side is caught by Adams. He's into the end zone. Devontae Adams. Touchdown, Vegas. And here's a great example, Mike, of how experience and having some veteran players at these key spots, they can work so well together. The whole idea is you need to see the game through the eyes of the quarterback, and I think that's what the receiver did such a nice job in. He was on time, he was accurate, and you never fool your quarterback. When you have two guys like this that are operating on the same page, you can see the result. Carlson now for the extra point. His kick is good. And the Raiders will extend this third quarter lead. Carlson now. He'll kick this one off following the touchdown on the other end. On the return, here comes Blackshear. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The visitors' offense and their back Chuba Hubbard set to come back on the field. They're in need of points in a big way as they set out on first and ten. Sending a receiver right. Here's Dalton. That's caught. It's Miles Sanders. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. Great example of first down efficiency. You don't always have to go for the big play. But put yourself in a friendly second down. Now you have equal opportunity to both run and pass. They'll come up now for second down and four. Now off the bootleg, he'll look to throw here. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Nice example there, Mike, of the quarterback just being smart with the ball, understanding it didn't quite develop the way he had intended. Throw that ball out of harm's way, live to play another down. Here's a third down and four. put a receiver in motion right throwing Dalton he's got his man complete to Johnson similar to a tight end the slot receiver is often considered the safety blanket he makes all the difficult catches tends to be a little bit more around the line of scrimmage and so far today he's certainly lived up to that reputation it's a three tight end look as they have it first and ten Moves early. Can't continue to make these mistakes if you're trying to mount a big comeback. There's a handoff to Hubbard. Whoa! And he'll get the penalty yards back, and more than that. He's a couple yards short of the first down, a gain of 13. Really nice job here by the offense getting back that penalty yardage they lost on first down. And typically the rule of thumb is let's pick up the pack. Let's make second down more manageable. In this case, they do that and some, and now they're in a good spot on second down. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. Just a great example of not only the anticipation, but the instincts to go break that pass up. Like, you can see he's clearly looking at the quarterback's eyes. And once that ball was delivered, he's just attacking it and breaking it up. 
Promotion man is Sanders. Now on 32, they'll try and throw for it. And he'll be taken down, but good enough to keep this drive going. It's a first down. Offensively landing a lot of body blows on this drive, Mike. Just the ability to steadily march the ball downfield and remain so efficient, both run and pass. As they continue to wear this defense out, they have to find a way to end this drive with points. Anything short of that, be a bit of a letdown. And he'll get maybe a yard. That's it. Robert Spillane spills him there. Here's second and nine. They'll motion over and field. Here's Dalton. Just outside their own 20. The Vegas offense ready to get rolling again. And as we look back at some of the highlights of this one, Greg, definitely a lot to show from the passing game. Yeah, and as good as the offense feels about their passing game, I think if you're on the defensive side of the ball, you've got a lot of learning to do because you just get burned time and time again. You'd think at some point you'd make an adjustment and make a correction. So at this point, they've given up four touchdown passes you're just not going to win a lot of games in the NFL giving up that production in one phase of the game. Operating from their own 23, they'll begin first and 10. Now Minshew finding his tight end there. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. So, no shortage of offense in this one as we end the third. Back with more after the break. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. quickly and here comes third down he'll try and throw with Minshew he'll be forced to just throw that one away it's incomplete you can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him, and he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. Fair catch made here. The drive will start at the 23-yard line. The visitors' offense ready to see what they can do. Things not looking good. But see if we can get the turnaround going here. They'll start this drive with first down. Right, 
to throw is Dalton. To get this complete, it's feeling over the middle. A good spot here, second and a yard. Now it's Dalton. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. He can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. Even though it doesn't result in a sack, when you dial up the right pressure at the right time, Mike, sometimes that's all it takes to lead to that incompletion. The timing is just a little off between the quarterback and his intended target, and the ball falls incomplete. And that is incomplete. Tavian Sanders was the intended receiver. And it's going to lead to fourth down. Every so often, Mike, you can see these offenses, and it looks like the passing game gets a little bit too predictable. And as the defense continues to flood the back end of these zones with extra defenders, you're continuing to force this quarterback to not only make some difficult throws, but to put the ball in harm's way. And he's going to have a Panthers first down. They managed to convert. That'll keep the drive alive. They'll motion over Thielen. Now Dalton. Oh, a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. Anytime you see a receiver at this level miss a ball that easy, it's just concentration. They just take it for granted. All of a sudden, they're thinking about what their next move is or what they're going to do after the catch. And instead of just focusing on first things first, secure the catch, put the ball away, then become a runner. Well defended there, and the quarterback's trying to attack this defense outside the numbers. Those really wide angle throws near the sideline sometimes can be very hard to defend, so give a lot of credit to this secondary. They were all on the same page, and the ball falls incomplete. To throw is Dalton. He's got his man complete to Johnson. They get 12 yards on that pass. It's good for a Panther first down. It's been tough sledding for this offense all day today, Mike, but especially here in the second half. So they are just in desperate need of a spark, just something to get their offense into a little bit of a rhythm if they want to have any chance to find themselves back into this game here late. Time for the deep shot looking for Thielen. That ball broken up. It is incomplete. They tried the shot on first down, couldn't connect. It'll bring up second down. Well, not exactly breaking news here, Mike. They got speed on the perimeter that just not a lot of teams in the NFL have. So even though that ball falls incomplete, I think they have to continue to do it, continue to pressure this defense and make them defend the entire field. Because as they're worried about him running by him, there is a lot of space open underneath. And they'll hold him to a gain of just a couple and sets up third down. I think the days where cornerbacks are either unwilling or unable to be involved in the run game, I think those days are over, Mike. I think when you look around the landscape of today's NFL, yes, you have to cover, but you also have to be able to come up and tap. Now Dalton. And that is incomplete. Deontay Johnson, the intended target there. And that's going to lead to a fourth down. Well, that tip ball, I think, just saved a huge play because this offense found something. They had an open target with a lot of room to run, and unfortunately for them, the defender gets his hand on the ball, and that went away pretty quick. Now or never, they'll throw on fourth down. Going up top. Incomplete. They couldn't get the connection on the fourth. They'll wind up giving the ball over on down. The home team's offense and their running back getting set for this next possession. We'll have a short field in front of them as they try to extend this lead out further. Mm -hmm. 
So they come to the line for first down and 10. On first down, it's White. And good blocking up front. Paving the way for a gain of eight on the ground. Here's second and two. Working out of the gun, it's Minshew. He gets this one to Tucker. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. Well, let's give some credit to the big boys up front in the trenches. They knew that blitz was coming. They held up just long enough that the quarterback could get that ball out safely and results in a completion. He'll run over center with White. And he'll work forward for about three. It's second down. Here's Minshew. This is caught at the two. And he's very close to a touchdown. They mark him just shy of the goal line. Big time completion right there. And this isn't just a spot where they're trying to run the game out here in the fourth quarter. They were not only trying to pick up points, but they're trying to get in the end zone and extend this lead. So really nice job here late. We'll see if they can put this one out of reach. From the one-yard line, first down and goal. They'll run with White. And he's got another one. Zamir White, touchdown Las Vegas. That is his third touchdown of the afternoon. And that touchdown probably, Greg, ends any small hopes of a comeback on the other side. Yeah, and I think those chances, Mike, were small to begin with, but with that last score, I think this one is pretty much over. Now Carlson to add the extra point. The kick is good. And the Raiders will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. Here's Carlson now. He'll kick this one off following the touchdown on the other end. On the return, here comes Blackshear. Nice job by the return team as he takes it across the 30-yard line. The visitors' offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been successful. He just processes things so quickly, making the right read seemingly every time. Here's first and ten. They'll motion over a field. Now Dalton. Got a man. That's Leggett. And he's close to a first down to gain a nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. and a yard. They'll motion over a field. Now it's Dalton. A very quick throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. He was seeking out the veteran Adam Thiel in that time. And it'll be third down. It's always a risky decision anytime a quarterback tries to force the ball, especially into those tightly contested areas. 
Not a lot of daylight, not a lot of room for error. In this case, it just falls simply as an incomplete. But as this game unfolds, better decisions are going to lead to better results. And the defense can't come up with a stop there. Gain of seven and a first down. Nothing a quarterback loves more, Mike, than being able to pick up a first down without being forced to push the ball downfield and force it past the line to gain. He settles for the underneath check down. He's confident that his receiver is going to pick up the rest after the catch. Now Dalton. Oh, a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. There was no hesitation from the quarterback. From the jump, he knew where he wanted to go with that ball, but still leads to an incompletion. They're just still not quite on the same page. The motion man is Johnson. His tight end tremble over the middle. And they'll take this down inside the 35. Just seems like every year, Mike, the tight end position just continues to grow within the passing game and establishes a bigger and bigger role. And listen, I know I'm biased, but if you want to have a good passing game, you better have a good tight end. Now it's Dalton. To the left side, into the hands of Moore. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. They face second down and seven. The motion man is Sanders. Throwing Dalton. There's a short one caught by Sanders. And they're going to get this all the way down inside the five. Now, this is the epitome of a really short throw and a really nice run after catch. And listen, for a quarterback, it all counts the same. You don't always have to throw the ball downfield to generate explosive plays, and these drag routes can be very, very effective. He's got it at the three. To the goal line and in. Tommy Tremble. Touchdown, Carolina. Pinheiro on for the extra point. The kick is good. Panthers are able to edge a bit closer. Down three scores, and it's late. They're going to need a few bounces to go their way. They'll start right here, trying to get an onside kick. That's a big risk in this situation here, Mike. They're hoping to catch them by surprise, but now when you fail, the other team is able to not only have a short field, they got a chance to extend their lead. The home team's offense and their running back getting set for this next possession. And it's hard to believe you can run the ball a whole lot better than he has. The vision, the cutback ability, the acceleration, the stats. It has all been on display throughout. Here's first and ten. A gear left side for White. Room to run at the 35. And he'll be out of bounds inside the 30-yard line. They'll pick up 23 on that one. Good for a Raider first down. 
There's two elements to a successful run play, and the key is having them align. The offensive line needs to block according to the play and create space, but the back has to hit that space at the appropriate time. And this is a clear example as to why it leads to big gains. He'll run over center with White. He'll struggle to get back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe he gets a yard out of that one. It's second down. Inside the 20. So two minutes left to play in the second half. Greg and I back for the conclusion. In a moment. Here's third and two. They'll try to run for it. Here's White. Looking for room out on the edge. You're not going to find any. As a matter of fact, I think they tracked him down behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense, and it's fourth down. How would you like to be this running back here? You get the ball, you're thinking, all right, get through the line, and next thing you know, the big old D tackle is just waiting for you there in the hole. Nowhere for you to go as he takes you down for a loss. On fourth down, on comes Daniel Carlson for the Raiders' field goal. This will be a 38-yard attempt. Carlson's kick is good. And the Raiders add on to their lead. So the mistake there, the roughing call on the field goal, they'll take the three points off the board, keep possession of the ball, and have it first down. Second and goal. So this one, a win for the Raiders. This was a game where both offenses were up and down the field, marching the ball at will, matching each other point for point. But in the end, got a few more defensive stops than their opponents did. That was the difference in this one. So that'll do it for us. For Greg Olson and our terrific team behind the scenes, I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Follow us on X at EA Madden NFL. The Black Hole celebrates. The Raiders, winners here. We'll see if there are other winners outside. So long from Vegas.